I'm Jack Rustin. I'm an engineer, producer and mixer. And uh, the last couple of years I've been working with acts like Judas Priest and Walking on Cars, Foxes, Birdie, James Morrison. My requirements uh, can be very varied for an audio interface. I need it to connect to different machines. I need to be able to connect to different doors, to Pro Tools one day and then to Reaper for mixing another day as well as anything else that may crop up. So what I need from an interface is something primarily that sounds very very good. I want it to sound absolutely great. I, I, uh, I want to capture things going in the right way and I need to be able to hear them coming out without any coloration. I began to test a lot of different converters. Uh, almost all of the big name brand converters um, with this quite tight set of parameters. W would it connect to Pro Tools? Would it connect to ASIO? Um, would it connect to Core Audio? Would I be able to get uh, low latency performance out of all of those things? Did it have mic pre's? Would I be able to? Would I have to connect to a monitor controller? Did it have a monitor controller built in? And so I began to explore these converters and weigh up the pros and cons of each. So uh, what happened for me is that it it boiled down to a, a toss up really between two network converters, which is something that I hadn't really expected. Um, but I, I, I think networked audio is the future of what we do, the way we connect all these things, the way different boxes, different machines, different doors can all connect and talk to each other. I think the networked protocol is very important for that. And I wound up with a, a big uh, name brand box that connects over Dante and with the Horus on the other side which connects over the Ravenna network and uh, both of these systems work well I ended up preferring Ravenna as a network protocol in terms of its stability I, I it takes a little bit of setting up to get around the firewalls and things that you have in place some of that stuff needs to be turned off but once it's working it works and every day I come in I turn my machine on it's there, it works. If I change the session sample rate, it changes, it follows it, there's no problem. Um, so I really, I'm really, i really benefiting from that very seamless level of uh, reliability with Ravenna. So the Horus has extremely clean, quiet, capable mic pre's, which I find very useful. So if I need one mic pre, that's fine, but I can also add 32 and record a whole band with one box I don't it's it's much lighter it's much quieter than having say you know your, your typical eight channel interfaces where you might have three or four eight channel units all churning fans and making a noise that's quite difficult for me if I don't have a machine room or a, a separate control room. I might not be in that position. I, the, the, the great thing about this interface is that I can just take a laptop in the interface. I can be in the room with the artist. It doesn't make any noise. It's a very convenient solution. If I need to expand it, I can add another Horace or a Happy in another room and I've then managed to greatly enhance the capability of my setup. Now I find the, the Horus incredibly comfortable. There's nothing annoying or niggly about it in a, in a way that I find with a lot of converters when I've compared them. And I, when I was going through all these converters, I just kept coming back to it. Every time I plugged it in, it just was as if everything felt natural and right. And it, it sort of, I, I, it, it's slightly hard to put your finger on what's wrong with other things, but that definitely a sort of veiled lack of distinction and a, and a difficulty in picking out certain frequencies but also a slightly a slight discomfort a slight annoyance which vanished with the merging converters and at that point uh, I, I just felt that I, w I was going to need to spend the money to, to to keep that functionality you know 
I'm an in-the-box guy. I don't work with desks and with a lot of outboard um, anymore. You know, that's something I've moved on from. But what I do want is for that input to be perfect and for the output to be perfect. I, I really want to be able to hear exactly what's going on. So my chain of in and out is absolutely critical to me and this I genuinely feel is the best thing on the market at the moment. There is nothing else for me. I have tried all of them. There's nothing else that quite performs to this level.